Hey guys, time for another head shave with the leaf and tonight we're using the Bulldog Shave Gel. Hey everybody, I'm just Lance and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, yep, time for a head shave. Six days since my last one. If you saw my last video, you saw me using that beautiful free door um, straight razor from Solange in Germany. And tonight, like I said, in the intro, we're just using good old, the good old, uh, good old leaf razor. And in the last video, I used the um, Vanderhagen Shave Butter, which not the best product to shave with when you're using a straight, not quite as thick, or I mean, not quite as slick as you would want for a straight razor. So tonight for the head shave we're going with the like I said in the intro the bulldog shave gel so let me go ahead wet my head slap some of this bulldog on there and we'll see how it does all right got my head nice and wet Should have had my girlfriend read me the instructions on both, but I didn't, so it is what it is. A little more. Got a good scent to it. I like it. No more water. Oh yeah, I like the scent of this stuff. Pretty nice. Pretty freaking nice. Rinsed off the hands real easy too. Had a drip of water run down. So, let's go ahead and grab this here leaf. Dry the handle, had a little bit of shave gel on it. So, let's see how it does. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice and slick. That shave gel is actually pretty darn slick. Oh, hang on guys. Uh, sorry about the sound of the water. The blades in this leaf are Tatra blades. On their second or third use, I can't remember which. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, this sh oh these shave gels are really really good. I'm impressed. Um, I mean, look at that. The razor's just sliding right across. All right, bulldog, way to go, man. The Tatra blades are slicing right through six days worth of growth like nothing. These are damn good blades. I gotta get a sleeve of these. I just gotta find out where the hell Dennis got them. <laughs> uh, 
So, Dennis, any info on where you find these at? Let me know. Good blade. Damn good blade. This shave gel, the razor just sliding right along. I should sure use this for the straight. <laughs> Man, very nice. Very nice. Very nice pass. Okay, let me go ahead and wipe my head real quick. Jail from my noggin. And I missed a couple of spots, but you know what? They'll come off in the wood against the green pads. I missed some good spots right there. So, how's everybody out there doing? I hope you're all doing well and everything. For anybody that was uh, affected by some of these savage winter storms, um, hope you're all doing all right. I know Texas got flipping hammered. Yeah, my mom, she just, the other day, got her second COVID vaccine, vaccination shot, or second COVID shot. My niece, my girlfriend, she wasn't feeling well. So, my niece took, her, took my mom for her appointment for the shot. And, uh, <laughs> my little four-year-old niece, I guess, or five-year-old five-year-old niece because she's two years younger than my son um, she decided she was going to hold grandma's hand to make sure that nobody hurt grandma or great-grandma so My mom's all vaccinated. She feels a lot better. She's not worried about going outside and coming into contact with somebody who's got COVID. Because, you know, we got some people around here that, you know, Somebody could walk up to them and say, hey, um, you might want to step away. I've got COVID. And they would say, no, it's all a big conspiracy and a plot and all that stuff. And so my mom, she's, um, Breathing a little easier. Wow. That is some good gel right there, guys. Last night, we got one of those carbon monoxide detectors. And, um, 
it started beeping in the morning. I'm like, oh, I have the carbon monoxide detector, one of the smoke detectors, battery's gone out. So, uh, I went and I checked. It was a carbon monoxide detector. So, I forgot about it, you know, pulled it down, pulled the batteries out, and and uh, replace those and uh, starts beeping again and this light lights up and the light that lit up was over a little spot where it said move to fresh air so call Pacific Gas and Electric out here and told them what was up and guy came out was here in like 20 minutes and um, we've only got two gas appliances one's a hot water heater the other is our central air slash heater and um, he took his gizmos and he uh, checked everything out and and said, no, you you have no carbon monoxide leaks of any kind. And uh, then he checked the the date of when the thing was made. And it turns out that well. His recommendation was replace it with a new one because the um, after a certain amount of time they just are no longer certified so to be reliable so it was like okay no problem so we gotta call our landlord I'll call him Monday this is Saturday now, so I'll call them Monday. Well, it's actually like one something or two something in the morning on Saturday, Sunday morning, so. But I'll call tomorrow on Monday to the landlord and say, hey, um, <laughs> he plays our carbon monoxide detector, so. Anyways, so let's check out the progress, guys. Oh, that's darn not, darn darn nice. Oh yeah, look at that guy, totally smooth. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do the post shave here. T. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. If you're still with me at this point in the video, guys, thank you. Shape bomb. Also from Dennis. Yeah, it's got that same scent. Yep, pretty close. Use a little bit too much, but you know, here's what it is. <sighs> that came out quicker than I expected it to. Head off the excess. Alright. And for two nights after shave, once I find it. Well, one moment, guys. Ah, 
Here it is. Florida water. Gift from my friend Christian. Smells good. Smells really, really good. Gotta burn. But it smells really good. There we go. Anyways, guys, that's the shade. Likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. If you do subscribe, go ahead, click that notification. You know, click on notifications, click all, and ring that bell. That way, you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Email address is in my about section. Anyways, y'all take it easy. Have some great days, great shaves, and I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.